come to me on you who labor and are overburdened. Many of our burdens we manage to invent ourselves. If we only knew the damage we did to our souls at times. The Lord offers rest and yet we are fidgets and we won't take it. The first reading from Isaiah has these comforting words. O oh Lord, you will ordain peace for us. You have wrought for us all our works. Omnia opera nostra operatus es nobis. In the visions of Julian of Norwich, we have this notion of the power in the universe that is also providence. What we do, moment by moment, we are enabled to do because we are given something of the stewardship of that power. We can deflect it against the divine will, and that is sin. And even then the Lord comes in and redresses the balance if we let him. But we are our own worst enemy. One of the greatest plagues of Christian souls in our day is activism. It is of a new sort. It is not much time since this new element of not being available to the moment has come in. As soon as people are alone, they open up a machine that cancels silence and solitude, and therefore they are unable to face the same. And yet, silence and solitude can be the balm of the soul and the locus of encounter with the eternal silent the eternal solitary, our God, whose language is peace. Our own Abbey was a case in point. All young, except the founding prior, and full of energy, and the result was that many, many huge things were taken on board, one after the other. And peace was taken from the inner dynamic, because there were too many things on the brethren's minds. Too many people soliciting those minds. And the privilege that the Lord offered could not be taken on board. We were our own worst enemy. The structure was maintained, but the mind was not free, for there were too many things on it. And the result was that those many things that were taken on board undermined actually the future of the community. It's a warning that good Christian souls need to be careful of taking on board everything that crosses their mind. For sometimes we can actually do more in an endurable way 
and we're doing it at a calmer rhythm than many things squeezed into a moment that the moment was not meant to contain. <coughs> and all that was before these modern gadgets came in. Now, if one goes into that field as well, every day can be ruined by too much of the world soliciting the attention of our mind and soul. Other souls coming into ours, strangers that we have never met, <coughs> unpleasant and sharp words coming from the cybersphere. We don't have to have this in our one innings on earth. And if we opt not to have it, we can perhaps then allow the Lord to fulfil his promise. And I will give you rest.